Hello friends, how are you? This time I will build the Academy's 148 scale Curtis P40 Kitty Hawk. The kit was released in 2021, so let's check it out. The moldings are made from a hard, light grey plastic. It has some details, but most of the details are simplified. Well, unfortunately, the kit lacks rivets and we well details. The cockpit details look ok, but I will definitely upgrade them. The kit comes with two versions of the main tires, pilot seat and headrest. The clear paths look very nice and clean, no scratches or burrs. On the first page of the instruction manual is a color converter for Humbro, Gunze, Testers, Model Master, Ravel, Vallejo and AK Pates. The instructions are simplified and straightforward. You need to read it a couple of times to avoid mistakes. You can choose from three camouflage schemes, two American and one Australian. I have very bad experience with academy decals, but they look very nice. I will give it a try. Ok, let's grab some pliers and hobby knives and build this legend. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for not missing any new notifications. During the whole build, I will upgrade the model with photo edge accessories from Edward. One mention, this time I will divide the Kitty Hawk build into several videos. The reason is that I build several projects at once. So in this video, I will focus on building the cockpit and internal fuselage part like the engine cooler. The plastic part must be cleaned out from sprues with a sharp hobby knife. The Eduard PE parts instruction manual leads me to cut off a large piece of the cockpit top. It looks like this step will be important later in the fuselage and wings assembly. For this work step, I use a razor saw. Let's equip the cockpit with metal details. I gently cut out the metal parts with a hobby knife and then cut the excessive holders with scissors. Sometimes it's necessary to use a bender, like for these pilot seat parts. This tool is very helpful on very tiny bends. Of course, you can use a hobby knife for bending, but it won't be so precise. The Eduard accessories includes a pilot seat. Honestly, the kit pilot seat is very thick, so I'll use this one. It's necessary to bend the metal into a needed shape. It's not that hard, the metal is quite soft.
For a strong bond, I will use my approved Loctite Super Bond Universal Super Glue. Okay, before I get to something more interesting, let's enjoy the build. I mentioned before that I need to build the engine coolers. This small part is a part of the fuselage build and it must be complete before the fuselage assembly. I'm still in the gluing process, so I equipped the coolers with more metal details. Both fuselage parts have pin marks in the engine cooler area. They must be filled up with putty. And of course, sand it down with a smooth sandpaper.
Before I paint the cockpit, I clean and degrease it with technical alcohol. Let's give the cockpit a primer coat. The Academy's instruction manual leads me to use this interior green paint. I didn't found any pictures of P40 cockpits with this paint. It's more like a yellow than a green one. To be sure, I mix it with a green color. As you can see, I'm overpainting the cockpit. This interior green was too bright. It looks like this paint was more used on inner panels, wheel wells and gun base. After I finished airbrushing, I gave the cockpit an aluminum dry brush. Now for the fun part, painting small details with a thin paintbrush. There is a lot of details on the side panels. I paint only those that will be later visible after gluing the necessary photo edge parts. After I finish painting, I seal the paint job with a layer of clear varnish. For more highlight details, I give the cockpit parts a penaline wash.
The washer's drying time is a couple of minutes. It can be cleaned with enamel thinner. Next, I equip the cockpit part with Edward colored photo edge details. At the end, I paint the small PE levers with red paint. Okay, in the second part of the P40 build, I will focus on creating rivets and more external metal details. Until then, stay in touch. Bye.